guys welcome and welcome back to my channel I'm stingray 72 here back at you for another little video you know I am just sitting here chilling and thinking because I'm finishing up um, two videos that I'm gonna put out one at the end of this week and one at the beginning of next week um, my gadget video and my Shein clothing haul I've been pushing them back because I've been kind of fickle on <sighs> just a few things I don't know because my videos are not sponsored by anyone um, and I do want to share the information that I have anyway you know what I'll talk about that when those videos come up I was sitting here thinking about when I was growing up and I was think I was looking at a commercial of like these different it was a candy commercial it was um it was fruit roll-ups or that tape the fruit tape was Whatever it was, that's what it was. And I got to thinking, remember the candies that we grew up on? Now, I don't know how old y'all are. I'm old. I'm an old woman. But you remember the candies that we grew up on? They were good. And I mean, like, they were good to where they kept you coming back to the store for more. Like, I'm talking when I was coming up, like, we had penny candy. Penny candy was an actual thing. Like, you may have had some things that were like, 25 cent five cent but you actually had these little pieces of gum um i think it was called bowl b-o-l if i remember correctly and they were literally a penny and we used to be able to even the bazooka joe bubble gum remember bazooka joe bubble gum does anybody remember that and it had a little comic strip inside of it and that was like five cents i don't know but i just remember like i said and a lot of the candies that that i'm thinking of might be proximity i don't know i'm in washington i'm i'm in dc so i grew up in washington dc so the candies there when we had our little corner stores um i remember going to my grandparents house and every time we would pull up and we get out the car we run up to the house and he'd be sitting there on the porch and he reach his hand in his pocket let me see how much money i got for my babies and you just hear that change just jingling and we'd be getting excited and he'd give us 50 cent baby 50 cent back then in the 70s coming up ball game we run across the street to that little corner store they ain't hear from us till it was time to come back next weekend and we did it all over again anyway i got a list of candies that i was thinking about now again I don't know how old you guys are, and I don't know if it was these candies were in your area, um, but you remember kits? Kits. They look like um, fake now laters. Um, they were good because that was, the, it was, hell, it was candy. Everybody, every kid loved candy. I don't know, I don't know too many kids that didn't love candy. Um, let me see, them candy buttons. Let me tell you something, them candy buttons, we eat them suckers, paper on it and all. We just spit the paper out. But we used to tear them little candy buttons up, and I really didn't understand the purpose of them. Well, now, as an adult, I never understood the purpose of them. But it kept us quiet for a few minutes, and I guess my parents didn't care. Um, what else? Uh, Charleston Chew. Now, um, I wasn't aware of all the different flavors they had. And I'm thinking that the the plain vanilla or whatever is the best. I don't see them too much up here where I am now in DC. But when I went to my family reunion, which was in Charleston, South Carolina, they were there and they were there strong, duh. But them suckers were good. I remember one time um, I wanted my mother to taste it and I put it in the freezer and she, I said, just take a bite and I almost pulled her damn teeth out of her face. I'm sorry, ma, but it was good. <laughs> Anyway, Charleston Chew, I still love. Um, what else? I'm looking at my list. Dude, Atomic Fireballs. Everybody had, everybody ate those. I, I don't know where you are. I don't, everybody ate these. Um, the Fireballs, the, the Gumballs, the, um, like the Jawbreakers. Remember the Jawbreakers had like a thousand layers. And I remember watching, um, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, um, the Johnny Depp version, and he said, these are gumballs, and they'll last, they'll last a week. They're for kids who get little to no allowance. So, you know, but them suckers did last, like, 
last. And then you had those people who would show that their jaw couldn't be broken by biting them. I wasn't that strong. Anyway, Jaw Rickers was the bomb. Pop Rocks. Come on here, Pop Rocks. Um, everybody was doing that thing um, about putting Pop Rocks in Pepsi or Pop Rocks in Coca-Cola, something like that. And, and it's supposed to do something to you. Look, I don't know nothing about that. Um, I wasn't that daring, but I know Pop Rocks were good. Um, yeah, them suckers were good. I, I still see them in the store, and I see all these different flavors. And and come on, y'all. Just just give me the regular Pop Rocks. We're good with this. We're good with this. Okay, capiche? Um, what else? Big League Chew. That old, um, supposed to be looking like the, the stuff that the... The tobacco that baseball players chew. Who who wants that? Who does that? Who chews tobacco? What? Don't be a dragon lady. Old commercial. But a bigly chew, chewing gum looked like shreds of pieces of gum. Wasn't really my thing, but it was bubble gum nonetheless. Oh, Bubblicious. Um, Hubba Bubba. Um, Juicy Fruit. All these gums. All these gums. Oh my God. Um... Uh, I don't know one time I was eating, I was chewing some gum. I was at my grandmother's house a long time ago and I had fallen asleep. I had taken the gum and I was playing with the gum and I put it around my neck like it was a necklace because I couldn't, I wasn't allowed to play in her jewelry box. So I was chewing the gum and I had it, it was a pretty little medallion and stretched all the way around my neck and I fell asleep. That gum got in my hair. And on her crisp white sheets, I was done. Um, I was more hurt that she had to comb that mess out of my hair. I don't know. Here we are, though. Um, what else? What else? Um, Negro. I feel offended. Anyway. Um, Smarties. Them little ass sweet tart things that used to get caught in people's throats and they would just choke almost to death, but they were so good. Um, I used to love those little things, the little wrappers. And it was to a little kid, when you have a, a wrapper like that, this, it looks like it's got a million pieces of candy in it. But now as an adult, I'm like, you what? Anyway, um, Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie Pops, come on. That candy will never go out of style. That is timeless. Um, I know a lot of people who don't really care for chocolate, but they'll eat a Tootsie Roll. I think, and I think that's out of nostalgia, but I love Tootsie Rolls. I love Tootsie Pops. I prefer the chocolate one. Um, but yeah, Tootsie Rolls for me will never go out of style. Um, what else we got? Fun Dip. I used to like that too. Um... The candy was like porcelain, the, the candy little stick, but, um, the fun dip, it was, it was cute. You know, it was all right. It was just messy. It wasn't them things that you could be riding in the car, in the back of the car and eat unless you had great dexterity. And I was not that girl. Um, but anyway, fun dip, it, it was good. It was just what it was called fun. What else is on my list? I can't see nerds. Okay. Nerds was more of in my teen years or whatever, like late adolescent to teen years that I remember. I wasn't a huge fan of nerds. I mean, they were okay, but um, it wasn't a big deal when I was growing up. So I'm not too keen on those or whatever. Um, I'm sorry, my bright light is in my face. Look at me. Quit playing. Your fave could never. Um, now, ladies. Okay. The real now, ladies used to come in like... Um, like 10 in a pack. And if I remember correctly, there was apple, strawberry, cherry, banana, and grape. Those five flavors. Then they started getting into all these fancy things, tropical punch and a No. Just give me the basic five. And everybody I knew used to choke on the apple. It was something about the apple, I guess the tartness. Um cause them saliva glands to go crazy and people will always eat them my friend she used to always choke rachel help me help me girl you good can you gonna eat the rest of those anyway now ladies bomb 
Boston baked beans. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. Still, still classic. Still can get wrecked, okay? Wrecked. The uh, Boston baked beans, the lemon heads, grape heads, cherry heads, apple heads, um, all of them. And they used to come in these little boxes about this big. And they were, now I think they're 25 cents or 50 cents. Um, when I was coming up, they were five cents a bo uh, 10 cents a box. So we used to always get them. And we would mix them up. And it would be like our own jelly beans. Because I'm not a fan of jelly beans. I'm not a fan of licorice. Like, I don't I don't care for Twizzlers. Um, I don't care for jelly beans. Um, I'm, I'm not a, a, a licorice type candy eater. It, I, I don't know what it is. So it's like, licorice is nasty to me. And when I say licorice, I don't just mean the flavor licorice, meaning the black candy. I mean licorice styled candies like jelly beans and Twizzlers and things like that. I, I just, I could never get with them. But, um, I don't know. There's so many candies and I, and like I said, I was watching TV and I saw, came across these, these newfangled things, these these new candies and stuff like that. And they ain't nothing like the candies you grew up on. You heard me. Nothing like those candies. I would take the retro candies any day over this new stuff. And that's pretty much about with what everything that's going on nowadays. But that's all. I think I'm about to go out and um, get me a little bit. Um, if I do, I have me a candy uh, mukbang and talk about each candy has a story for me. So I think that that's something that I want to do. Um, and if that's something that you feel that you want to do, let's link it up. Let's do a family dinner. Let's find some way to do a family dinner. We all record. We all sitting together in front of our computers and we doing our thing. And we all have it on our channel. Let's have a family. Let's have a family dinner. Let's do Big Mama's House Sunday dinner. You know, with all of all of us together. As many as we can get on one video. I think that would be dope. Um... That'll bring everybody's viewers or everyone's, you know, subscribers in with everyone else. We can be a big ass melting pot and we can get get sugar wasted. But anyway, I think that I'm gonna um look into doing that. Um have about five or six candies and just do a mukbang and, and tell the stories, tell the nostalgia of each candy. You know what I mean? And just just get into me and and my my childhood growing up and what each candy represents to me and what each candy means to me and um that's all i have for this video like i said this was really impromptu um the only thing i really did was add the picture of the candies in here um don't forget to head on over to uh monray um that's the channel that i share with my husband we talk about everything from race relations to love relations everything in between um we're trying to get uh, to 500 subscribers. We are about 75 subscribers away. Please help us get there. Please help us get there. The ultimate goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That's my personal goal as well for this channel. Don't forget to keep following me. I'm Singray72 on all platforms with the exception of Facebook. I am Rachel Crowell. So hit me up. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if there is something that you would like, some type of video or content that you would like to see from me, um, don't be shy. Please just leave that in the comment section below. Um, again, I appreciate you so much for having your face all over my face today. And I appreciate you selecting this video. Until the next one, I love you. Bye.